Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and we're now just 10 days away from the release of iOS 18 to the public. Now this is an amazing update with a ton of new features and changes and a lot of them on the home screen as well. We have a ton of different customization options now for the home screen which make iOS 18 really, really interesting. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at these new features and we're going to talk all about all the new features and changes that you will be able to find on the home screen and lock screen of the new iOS 18. Now this time around, the lock screen didn't get a lot of new features, even though there are a few of them and one of them actually very, very useful. Now, first of all, when you go to customize your lock screen, what you will notice here is that when you go to your clock, you will now have this new like rainbow style that you can choose for your clock. Now there is no option to actually change this. All you have here is a slider, of course, to make the clock there thinner or thicker, but you will have this option right here for a rainbow clock, which is pretty cool. Now, of course, the big new feature of the lock screen are the new buttons. So we have two different buttons on the lock screen of iOS. We have the flashlight and the camera. They have been here for years now. Finally, you can go ahead and change any of them. So you will have both of them here. You can remove them. If you don't want any buttons, you want the lock screen to look much cleaner. You can actually even just remove them and not add any buttons at all. Or what you can do is remove them, then tap the plus button, and you will have a ton of different options right here. So you will have different controls. You will have your capture options right here, the clock. You will have your airplane mode, your cellar, your hotspot. You can choose to enable or disable dark mode from here. Of course, you can choose to open any app you want or any shortcut. And then you will have all the other toggles right here that you can add to your lock screen. Now, what's really cool is that in the future, you will also be able to add different toggles, different controls from third party apps, and that will make it even better. Now, right here, as you can see on the shortcuts, we can just go ahead and tap on open app, and it gives you the option from here to choose any app that you wanna add. So we can choose from the list of apps and directly from the lock screen, we can now go ahead and easily open that app without even needing to unlock the device. Another really cool thing on iOS 18 is that now we have dynamic wallpapers. Like this wallpaper right here, it is dynamic. It is the same one as you get on your Mac, which will change during the day, of course, based on the time of the day. So if you just go ahead and choose here the dynamic option, which will actually be the first one, then you will get this dynamic wallpaper that will change colors throughout the day. Now, when you go to set it up right here, you will see like a preview of how it will change and all these colors will change on your lock screen during the day. Moving on into the home screen. Now, here we have a ton of new features. Some of them required for a lot of years now. Finally, they're here with iOS 18. First of all, of course, feature that has been requested for years now, the ability to actually place icons anywhere you want, you can now actually do that on iOS 18. Just choose where you want to place your icons, you can do the same with your widgets as well, so they won't rearrange automatically. You can just choose to place the icons and the widgets anywhere you want, and of course, this is a much, much needed feature. Again, users have been requesting this feature for a lot of years now. Finally, Apple decided to do that. Now, here's a really, really cool feature of iOS 18. On the home screen of your device, you no longer need to just go to the widgets panel to search for a widget and add it to your home screen. What's really cool about this feature is that if you have an icon there, if I have an app, let's say I have here the calendar app, I want to turn it into a widget. All I have to do is 3D touch on it and I will have the options here to turn it into a widget. Not just a small widget, from here we can switch to the medium one and to the bigger one. And even if you just have a widget there and you just wanna change its size, you can do that directly from here. Now, what's really cool is that also, if you just have a widget on the home screen and you no longer wanna have it, you just wanna have the app, you can again on the widget 3D touch and just pick the first one right there and it will turn it into an icon of that app. 
Now another way to do that is when you're on the edit mode. So when you go to the edit mode on iOS 18, you will see that the widget will have this little grabber right there. So if you just grab it right there, you can go ahead and stretch it out and turn it into a bigger widget. Or if you have a bigger widget, and in this case, you want to turn it into a smaller widget. Again, you can tap and hold there and you can just move it around and turn it into a smaller widget, which is an amazing feature. And now let's move into the customization part, which is of course one of the most attractive features of iOS 18 for most of users of iOS. So if you have the edit mode right here and go to customize, you will have here the options from where you can customize your home screen. Now, first of all, you will have right here, small and large. These are for the icons. If you go ahead and choose the small icons, this is the default of iOS. We will have smaller icons with the labels underneath them but what you can also do is choose the large and then it will actually make the icons a bit larger but it also removes the labels from the icons making the icons and the home screen look much much cleaner now what you will have here is also another button that will allow it to actually add a tint to the wallpaper so if you just want to make the background of your icons a bit darker then you can go ahead and choose this option right here now what's really cool what apple has done with some of the latest beta updates of ios 18 is that these customizations will actually be connected to the lock screen that you choose so if i just customize the icons right here when i move to a different lock screen it will actually change the icons to the settings that i have selected for that lock screen or wallpaper whatever you want to call it so that's actually really really great and then right here of course we can choose the mode we want to use for the icons in this lock screen so we can have here the light mode dark mode or you can choose that automatic which means that it will of course depend on whether you're using the light mode or the dark mode on your iPhone. And then we have the tinted option right here. Now the tinted option here is automatic. You choose it, it will just pick like the most dominant color on the current wallpaper that you're using and will set it as a tint for your icons. Now of course you can go ahead and change that you can basically choose a serration here of the color and of course you can choose a custom color if you want to if you just don't want to go with the one that it has selected automatically or if it does select something automatically you can always go ahead and tap right there on that picker and you can just go ahead and pick a different color from that wallpaper to add as a tint for your icons now what's really cool is that also if you change like the different tint color you can always go back to the default one simply by tapping the tinted option right here and it makes it very easy for you to undo everything that you have done and last but not least is this one right here the ability to hide or lock the apps on the home screen so it will work of course with your face id touch id or if you use a passcode and it's actually very easy to do so if i just want to hide an app all i have to do is just tap here require face id now here we'll have a couple of options you can require face id but still keep the icon right there on the home screen you can also hide and require face id which means that it will hide the app from the home screen and it will require your face id to unlock it now the hidden apps will be placed right here on this folder so you will have to use face id in order to get into this folder right here or your passcode and then open the app that you have hidden so that's pretty much it for this video guys these are all the new features and changes that you will find on the lock screen and home screen of your ios 18 device hope you guys enjoyed the video again ios 18 is coming in 10 days now very exciting for this update so we can't wait to see what apple has in store for the future updates of ios 18 and of course all the cool new features so that's it leave a like if you enjoyed the video subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one